hello children welcome to my channel today i am going to teach class 5th maths chapter 6 geometry in page number 99 i think you might have studied this in your class 4th class 3rd and usually we are studying it all the time na no? so today we are going to study geometry okay i think uh, the sound is little bit echoing so please ignore that and try to understand it for better experience use earphone so geometry geometry means different types of shapes different types of lines angles whatever things you know these all are geometry so in geometry whatever we have studied we will recall it first the first thing that we have studied or you have studied is point what is a point a point is a dot what is a point a point is a dot a point has no length no breadth nothing a point is just a dot and here we will give it some name means some letter a b c d e like that so this is a point okay next one is the line segment okay sorry first we will know what is a line okay sorry for the interruption just a minute okay so first we will study a line segment before that we will study a line what is a line when a number of points are drawn like this are connected like this then it becomes a line so you can write down here when a number of points are joined together then it becomes a line when a number of points are joined together then it becomes a line okay understood means when two point you will join like this it is a line or a whatever so next is what is a line segment what is a line segment okay third one when two points are joined line segment is a part of line first you write down line segment is a part of line means it has a starting point and it has a end point it has a starting point and an ending point how if we will take a line segment like this suppose this is a line okay arrow mark means it represents a longer line it can go from here and from there also okay so if we will take its two ending points suppose this is one point a this is another point b 
then AB is your line segment. Okay, how we will write AB then upside we will do a bar. So, AB is a line segment. Clear? Clear all of you? So, AB becomes a line segment. Now, when AB is becoming a line segment, then what all things you can get? Like this line segment is there. Line segments are of different length. XY is a line segment. Like this also a line segment is there. PQ suppose. You can take a line segment like this also. RS. Okay. So, likewise different types of line segments are there. And different lengths. Means different types of length are also there. Okay. So, this is all about line segments. Then the next is a ray. Fourth one is your ray. What is a ray? A ray is done like this from one point to the other side it is moving ok from one point suppose this is the point A and here is the point B that is going like this this is a ray only one side and arrow is there so you write down a ray has a starting point but no ending point. A ray has a starting point but no ending point. So, how we will write here? We will write here A B as a ray. Okay? A B as a ray. Understood all of you? Then fifth one. Now we will study different types of lines. First one is your five is your intersecting lines. Intersecting lines. So what is an intersecting line? When two lines like this when two lines or three lines are joined together suppose this is the line ab c and d when two line segments are crossed over each other or are joining with each other then it is called as a intersecting line so you can see here ab is a line segment cd is a line segment this is called as a intersecting line segment ok so we will write here when two or more lines meet with each other then then they are called intersecting lines then what they are called they are called as intersecting lines clear all of you then the sixth one parallel lines ok parallel lines now we will study the parallel lines 
So, what are parallel lines? When we will take two line segments which are same in the distance means their thickness their height is same they will not meet at any condition then it is called as parallel lines. For example, this is your x y and this is your w and z ok. Two lines are there x y and w z they will not meet with, meet with each other then they are called as parallel lines. So, write down here when two or more lines will not meet with each other and are at an equal distances from each other then they are called parallel lines when two lines will not meet with each other when we will pull them back or we will stretch them back they will be in the same distance ok they will be in the same distance then they are called as parallel lines. So, how we can write here x y is parallel to w z like this we have to write them x y is parallel to w z ok. Then the next one. Okay, what is the next one? The next one is perpendicular lines. When we take two lines or more than two lines which are perpendicular to each other means if you will draw them like this, this angle is 90 degree, this angle is 90 degree, this angle is also 90 degree, then each angle is 90 degree, then they are called as perpendicular lines, ok. So, for example, this is your P U, this is your V G yes PUBG <laughs> all of you know na very nice ok. So, this P U B G how we will know this one P U and B G they make each other at 90 degree they cut each other at 90 degree. So, they are called as perpendicular lines. So, how we will write this one when two lines are intersected at an angle of 90 degree each is called perpendicular lines ok. 
okay when it would be straight then they are called as perpendicular lines so this is the introduction about perpendicular lines okay now we will move on to the next portion that is your exercise okay so i think you all are having geometry boxes so with geometry box we will start so give me a minute so you might have having the scale we will take the scale okay this is a bigger scale na so this is not a scale actually it is called as a ruler what it is called ruler so using the ruler we will study how to do the exercise okay you might have used your ruler for doing margins for doing boxes now we will use the ruler to measure the lines okay exercise 1 page number 100 and 101 in one number question it is given measure name the line segment and measure their lengths for example this is a line segment you can see here okay one line segment is given that is your pq okay first of all you will write the same name pq then bar that means line segments now you will calculate it how much you will keep your this zero here in the first point and then you will measure in the second point okay so here you can see it is a 15 cm i have done it 15 cm your might have changed you will take here 7 cm not the other side that is the inches okay in cm side you will take and you will do okay understood then second one also like that xy we will take xy see here i have i don't know so i'll take here from here it is nearly to 14 cm so you will write xy equals to 14 cm understood like that you have to do then exercise 2 is uh, question number 2 mm, write the different types of line segment classify them where you can see like this x or cross with each other each other you will write there intersecting lines where you will see plus one what type of one plus one perfectly you will write there perpendicular lines okay where you will see the same length one like this there you will write parallel lines okay all the diagrams you have to make in your notebook and all this you have to do this in your notebook clear all of you thank you for attending the class in the next class i'll teach you another important topic okay so measuring angles we will study in the next class thank you